Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios uh, artwork for today, and that is a uh, calla lilies on acrylic on canvas. Check my website for more artworks and photographs at ilmaarts.com. Today, I'd like to share with you my poem devotional, which is extracted from John seventeen seventeen, and it says, "Make them holy by your truth." Teach them your word, which is truth. And here's my poem. God's word is truth. Is your life anchored on the standards of this world? Do you study and live by God's word? Those who believe in Christ are called to live a holy life. They are expected to seek him and stay in the light. Staying constantly focused on the truth will set you free. It will keep you from sin and will bring you victory. The Word of God guides and makes you holy. It is the truth that strengthens you if you follow it. Here's my essay. Are you a believer of God? Do you know the difference between the truth and the lie? There are many Christians that live in confusion because they choose to follow their human nature. Our nature tends to focus on satisfying the self. It is selfish by nature, but God can change that if we know the truth and follow His Spirit's call to become more like Him. The Word of God changes lives. I testify to this because it is the truth that freed me from all the bondages of sin and strongholds in my life. Jesus prayed for all believers in John 17, 17 for us to seek the Word, which is the truth. It protects us from our fallen nature prayer. Lord, keep me hungry for your word. Reflection. How has the word changed you? And um, I'd just like to give some testimony regarding how the word has changed my life. Three years ago, I was diagnosed, um, no, four years ago, I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder from so many uh, traumas that I went through. They're not just, um, um, physical traumas, uh, although I experienced a lot of disasters uh, in my lifetime, uh, earthquakes, um, house almost burned, um, you know, rape, uh, what else, um, I've been uh, moving from one, one country to another, these are all trauma traumatic after a while, but um, Emotional abuse is the biggest, you know, physical abuse as well uh, by one of my former partners. So it was daunting to actually um, face all this because what I did was to just move on with my life. That was my um, coping mechanism is to just work, work, work and do everything I can to make my life better. Um, which I did, but I didn't really face my, the consequences of all the effects of this in my life. So I was living in a performance-based life where everything I had to prove to everybody that I was good at something. Um, I didn't realize that it wasn't um, the way God want, wanted me to be. It was how the world wanted me to be so that I will be kept in bondage. So when I naturally because of what I went through I had a fear of relationships I didn't even realize that I didn't realize that I was actually um, running away as soon as I become intimate with somebody and uh, my first husband I got divorced from a very uh, an abusive husband but uh, in my second husband I was tending to run away from it as well so it was God's word that told me that he doesn't like divorce in Mark 10. So that's the start how God totally changed my life on a daily basis. I would write and this is a product of that. that so I've been writing daily for God, uh, doing my poetry and uh, essay for a, maybe going three and a half years now. So that has totally changed me because I used to have lots of panic attacks, lots of rage fit and everything. And um, 
seeing a doctor, a post-traumatic stress disorder doctor didn't really help me a lot. It just brought out all the past that I was really overwhelming to handle. But God, through His Word, He revealed so many things to me that were all truth that had replaced all the lies that, that I have believed since I was a child. So I hope that you will be able to have a faithful devotion to read God's Word and study His Word because that will entirely change your life for the better. Thanks for watching and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. God bless.